as you can see, we're now at that concert. And this is a concert, you can hear the music in the background. This is a concert that's very unique because there's lots of people here. There's about a million people here. I've never seen something quite this big. As the music's going on in the background, the reason I'd like to talk to you right now because this says something about Christianity. As I, we pan down here, I want you to look and just see the crowds of people that are around here. As we're coming around now, you can see the stage out to the right. Now, as you come down, just look at the hundreds and thousands of people raising their hands to Jesus Christ. And as we come around, you can see the bleacher over there, full of people. Moving on to the left, another bleacher in the distance, and yet even further on, another bleacher full of people on both sides. Coming on down here to the left, you'll see where the bleacher that we're on. They have been singing the praises of Jesus Christ. We're about halfway through the concert now. It's been exciting for me to be here, and I'll tell you why it's exciting. The reason why it's exciting is because what we're witnessing here is a phenomenon that's happening in the world, in the Christian world. Back in 1960, they did a survey. They wanted to find out where the Christians were in the world. And they found that in 1960, about 75% of all Christians were in the Northern Hemisphere, 25% in the Southern Hemisphere. Now that has all changed. In the year 2000, the last time statistics were taken, the Southern Hemisphere now has 75% of all Christians. And it's the Northern Hemisphere that is now falling away. And we are now in the Southern Hemisphere. We're in the third largest Christian nation on earth, Brazil. The third largest Christian language on earth, Portuguese. But what's interesting is these are not Catholics. These are evangelical Christians. These are evangelical Christians coming together here in Rio de Janeiro to worship Jesus Christ. On stage at the moment is Ana Paula, probably the most popular singer, the most popular Christian singer in Brazil. She gets crowds like this, but they've not come here to worship Ana Paula. They've come along with Ana Paula to worship Jesus Christ. I just wanted to bring down and just look at this man here with Jesus written on his back. You will see hundreds of people with Jesus on their back, on their heads. They're all basically proclaiming the name of Jesus Christ as they preach, as they sing, as they pray. This is the next generation of Christians. Look how young these people are. These are the people that are going to take the gospel to the world. Come back around the let's look at this crowd again. I just want to end on. By, in a sense, showing the world and those of you on YouTube, Muslims say that the 21st century is a century of Islam. Take a look at this crowd. And I will say, no, the next century is a century of Jesus Christ. But it's people like this that are going to take the gospel to the world. It's people, young people like this, who are coming in their thousands. A million strong even here tonight. And this is just Rio de Janeiro. This can be repeated in Sao Paulo. This could be repeated in many other cities here in the Southern Hemisphere. And this is why I get excited. We're looking at Christianity, the future of Christianity, face to face. And I praise God because of this. I praise God because he is reaching out and blessing every one of these people. Now, I know Muslims want to come back to me on this, and they'll want to debate me on this as to whether or not this represents Christianity. It does represent Christianity, and they're not worshiping a thing. They're not worshiping a woman. They're worshiping Jesus Christ. They're not forced to do that, and this is something Islam cannot do. There is no paradigm like this in Islam. There is no worship like this in Islam. There is no model of this in Islam. Nowhere in Islam do you have this kind of worship. This kind of praising, coming together and praising Jesus' name or praising anybody's name outside of Christianity. It's a tradition that we have that's gone back 2,000 years. Oh, even longer than that. David praised God. And because David praised God in the Psalms, we can praise God. And here you see an example of that right now. As we go on to the next song, I want to close this down now. And I want to basically encourage Muslims to reach out as these people are reaching out right now. There's no reason why you need to stay still. There's no reason why you need to worship a God that you cannot praise like this. Come home to Jesus Christ. These people have all done that. They've all given their lives to Jesus Christ. A million strong. You can do the same. It's great to be here in Brazil, to be with my brothers and Christians in Christ. Brothers and sisters in Christ. You can be there, be here as well. I give that out to you. You can come, and praise him, worship him, enjoy him. 
Not just now, but for eternity. This is Jay in Rio de Janeiro.